Hello Internet, today we are going to talk about RetroArch, how to install it, its cores, and how to install and run games. Now go to the RetroArch uh, webpage and look for Switch and download. Connect your Switch to your computer and run any file management app. Okay, once you finish downloading, you're gonna get the RetroArch zip file. Open up the zip file and you're gonna see this. I'm gonna put all of them in one folder. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to make a new folder here. And I'm going to name it RetroArch. And I'm going to place all the files here in this folder. Copying process may take some time. Okay, I just uh, finished copying everything. I placed it in a RetroArch folder in my desktop. Uh, drag the files into the switch folder. And copy everything. After copying, go to the uh, switch. SD card. Under switch folder. And in this folder, uh, make another folder or make a new folder I'm gonna name it retro arc and then paste or copy everything here in this folder and wait for it to finish retro arc is already installed next up we are going to install and load cores so what are cores or game cores? They are actual emulators for a specific console or a system. You need to load the core in order for you to uh, play a specific game. For example, if you want to play a Game Boy Advance game, you need to load an MGBA or a GBA emulator or core into your RetroArch. Okay, let's open up RetroArch. I would like you to press and hold the R button while you're opening this because if you don't do that uh, you're gonna see an error it allows you to actually use the full potential of your RAM after that we need to update first some features of RetroArch okay going to the main menu going to the online up there I would like you to update all of it update the core files the assets the controller profiles the cheats everything that you can update go ahead and update it Okay, after updating and restarting RetroArch, as you can see, uh, there are some changes already on the interface. The decks are a lot more smoother and there are some options that are available for us right now to use. Next up, we are going to load the core and uh, choosing on download a core, pressing on A. And as you can see, here are the list of available cores for you to use in RetroArch and there's like a ton of it. Okay, just choose which core you need for a specific game. Uh, for this video, I'm going to be using a GBA uh, game, so I'm going to be looking for the uh, GBA core. Okay, I found it. I'm pressing on A. And it's going to install the core. You can also see a hash, which means the core has already been installed to RetroArch. Next, I'm going to uh, install the game. I have a GBA game here. I'm going to copy the game. And uh, going back to your Nintendo Switch drive, open it. And look for the Retro Arc folder. Go to Downloads. And I'm going to place my game here. So going back to RetroArch, I'm going to load first the uh, core.
core, which is a GBA. After loading the core, I can now load the content or I'm going to load the game that I've just copied. And there you have it guys. The game is already being loading. By the way, always remember to press the right button while you're opening uh, RetroArch so that it can access the full capabilities of your RAM. If you don't do this, uh, every time that you load a core or you load a game, you're going to be having an uh, error and it will require you to restart your switch. So there's also a lot of settings in RetroArch where you can customize the controller, the video, and even overclock your CPU or your GPU and be careful about that. Well, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Any comments, suggestions, just leave it and you have a good one.